Hey guys, this is Crap Hunter, and welcome back to What of Tanks. Woo! <clears throat> Woo! There we go. Um, in today's episode, we're going to be playing a few games in the American vehicles, and as such, I'm in my American M6. Let's go. Uh, yes. Yeah, so here we are. Fun tank. Uh, tier six American heavy. To be honest with you, my initial thoughts on this thing. It's not a bad vehicle. It's not, you know, so, I mean, obviously with American stuff, I guess some of my opinions have possibly been, uh, I'm trying to find a way. I realize I'm probably going to piss some people off with my opinions on this one, so I'm just going to say it. My opinions not doesn't exactly mean it's 100% true. You may have some great success with this vehicle. In all essence, for me, though, it's all right. It's not a revolutionarily special vehicle. It's not like a vehicle which makes you go, <gasps> <laughs> you know, sort of thing. And agreed! <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, the American M6 pretty much is, if, any, if you were wondering, the, the T1, te T1 Heavy, um, only in tier 6 form, with a slightly bigger gun, slightly better stuff. Oh! Bugger me! That's a big tank. A little look see Foya! Do some nice damage to him. And, um. Okay, he's looking. Oh, Jesus Christ! That was close. Sorry, I found me in the back. Um, that was a very lucky ricochet. Very lucky ricochet. How the hell did I ricochet that? <laughs> oh, jeez. That was close. Oh, that was quite close as well. Um, oh! Crap, that was close. Um, he's definitely got the 150 mil. This is basically his game. He'll, he'll, he'll probably officially love this game. Gotta be cheeky and get another shot in. Have to come out. And I get lucky. I'm to get lucky. Yeah, KB1. Good shot. Unfortunately, though, the Vumital Borsig is severely... Unfortunately, the Borsig got revenge and killed the KB1. We can push up get a lucky cheap shot into the side of that bastard. And he is down. We have got to test ourselves a tier 8 tower. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're taking a nasty shot there. Shit. Right, we've really got to track this guy. Right try and knock his tracks out. We're going to have to pull back. But if we can try and angle ourselves a little and avoid being shot. Um, the game so far is looking pretty darn good for us. Except um, tier 8 tank destroyers. I can't believe I got a bloody kill on that one. But yeah. Okay, let's start pushing the enemy tier 6s um, completely. We've knocked out their T-150. This is an encounter game. Um, but the game itself is getting quite tense, so they look in my way. The old jeez, yes, yes they are. Right. What I'm about to do is ridiculously stupid. Edited by it. Oh, that was a bit of a shame. Ah, oh, bollocks. And of course, because my crew aren't 100%, I'm pretty much in the sticks. Let's go. Pull back a bit. Um, oh, bugger it. Come on, gotta get a rear shot. Oh, what? Seriously, a rear shot with IS-2 doesn't, doesn't go through. That didn't help. Right, let's get... Oh, and I'm dead anyway. How the hell did he kill me with one shot? Or is it one of those two shots? I guess it's a two shot. Unfortunately, we do die. Um, nothing much I could have done about that, really. Unfortunately, it's a shame. I really think, um, I thought for a moment we could potentially sneak a cap in, but I guess not. Still, um, quite a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the garage, guys. Well, um, I guess that battle wasn't going to go too much our way. That's a bit of a shame. But anyway, on to this tank, the Easy 8 Sherman. I haven't fully upgraded her, as you can see. I've, I've yet to get the 4G AA. Um, to be honest with you guys, as much as it sounds like a good, it sounds like a, a bad idea to just get the engine anyway, because the T20 
gets this engine as standard. So you could ask yourself, is it really worth me, you know, is it really worth just having that 11,000 experience just for the engine that you can already unlock as a stock engine from the um, T20? But in all essence, I would say yes. Yes, it would kind of be worth it because the thing with the EZ8 is that it very much relies on speed and close proximity to its opponents in order to win. Um, which I had this matchmaking with my M6, but oh well. Um, yeah, the M6... The, the EZ8 um, Sherman is one of those tanks... Well, to be honest with you, I got this tank for two reasons. One of which was more aesthetic. Because this thing somewhat sort of... I know it isn't, and I know there are differences. Believe me, I have read up on the tank. Um, but this sort of looks a bit like the Sherman Firefly. And I absolutely adore the Sherman Firefly. Um, so, I mean, it's one of my favourite Sherman variants. So, I wanted to get it because it's like, yeah, Sherman Firefly. And they really should implement that in either this game or, hopefully, War Thunder. If they implement it at War Thunder, they will be my new gods. Um, <laughs> I will make a tribute video just to exclaim my love for the uh, Firefly. But anyway, that was the one of the first reasons. And to be honest with you, I didn't really... It wasn't really enough to justify me getting the tank. The second reason kind of came up a little bit more recently um, was the fact that the American medium tanks, I hear, are pretty darn good because they're quite overall balanced um, in the sense of weapons, armor, and mobility. And, I mean, yeah, I've been playing the German ones a lot, so in a sense, I've been corrupted by other means. But generally speaking, the German, um, the American Pershing tank, which for some reason is a medium, even though... Um, to my knowledge, it seems a bit like a heavy. I'm not too sure. We really shouldn't have people camping. People should be kind of going up to here, because they're going to be coming up here too. We've got the KP-1S, and they've got an ARL, but our top tank is... Well, we've just lost a tier S. No, we just lost. Alright, I'm going to go up first. I'm probably going to get shot. It would appear to be that I'm very lucky. Oh, look at that clutch shot. Nice. Um, okay, so, so far, no movement. I mean, like I said, the, the second engine... Oh, fuck the thunder. Oh, I'm a lucky son of a bitch, or what? <laughs> yeah, I can't help you much there, my friend. Oh, he's taking a few shots. Oops. Oh, he's taking some shots now. Why am I getting stuck? Okay, let's be cheeky. Pull back. <laughs> We're being so cheeky by retreating. Honestly, the French are the cheekiest buggers alive. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so basically, the American medium tanks, have, I've heard, and from what it looks like, they seem to be quite balanced in the sense of being a medium tank. And I'm kind of in that stage of, of um, playing World of Tanks, where I want to kind of try and see if I can be a medium tank player as well as a heavy and a TD. Because at the moment, my core strengths are being a... Uh, being a meat heavy and a TD guy, like literally big ass can on it, or you know powerful, or thick armor. You know, I E75 basically is what I love about heavies. Um, and recently the the Russian line as well. That guy's dead. Or some sources. Um, the oh, there's a bitch gun there as well. Um, Dicker Max. some artillery support on this guy because yeah like I said though the the easy eight Sherman is a, it's an all right tank um the only thing I would say yeah like I said um American Germans sorry I'm starting to ramble now because I'm in the middle of yeah. oh. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. that was actually a lucky miss boom he's dead yeah, like I said, the, with the EZ-8 Sherman, very different to the Jumbo. Um, if you're wondering the difference between the, the EZ-8 and the Jumbo, um, quite simply, EZ-8 piss armor. Like, completely and utter garbage for armor. Um, if you're a KB-2 and you see an EZ-8 on the team, smile. Because <laughs> your gun will penetrate even the frontal half um, of it. Whereas the, whereas the tanks... 
lucky miss. Yeah, this thing, I think mobility in... Ah, oh, come on. Can I get a kill? Probably not. Nope. Nobody loves me. Ooh, Nazhorn. Good thing I'm not in that vicinity. Right, enemy KV-1 is there. Nazhorn is there, but we can get a rear shot on that. <laughs> Clutch! Oh, that was close. Boop! Boop! Oh, come on. Yeah, like I said, this thing, not very good at medium to long range. Hi! Hi! What is it with people in using derp guns? Seriously. I dodged your shot because your shell was that slow. Oh dear god, you've done so much damage to me. You're looking my way, aren't you? Yep. Oh, we actually lost the KV-1S. Oh, right in it. <laughs> What a way to win! <laughs> oh, if only these games were like that. <laughs> um, and, oh, what a surprise we were lost. We actually did pretty well, though, for a defeat in the M6, but... Uh, let's have a little look at details as well. Okay, so for the M6 battle, we were defeated, unfortunately, and the enemy... Oh, I did do damage to his track. Oh, I did hit his track and knock him out. Lucky. Um... We did a fair amount of damage in that game. Pretty darn good amount of damage. Unfortunately, the enemy team just had a little bit more luck than we did. I knocked out a Rumital Borsig, so, you know, up me. I feel so special. Um, and Tier 6 as well. <laughs> this must be embarrassing. Um, for the Easy 8 Sherman, though, completely different story. Um, victory tank. Victory tank? Yeah. Victory in this one. And got the monthly mission as well, which is pretty darn nice. Uh, we actually did a fair amount of damage to the team. We've destroyed a variety of things, mostly tracks. Knocked his engine out as well. Oh, that's why he didn't move. Brilliant. And we also knocked out the guy's engine as well. That's probably because of the fire. Uh, killed the commander. That's pretty much the case for that one. Knocked out that guy's tracks. Very lucky shot as well. Um, spotted the grill. <laughs> so much damage. And we knocked out the combinator. So not too bad, actually. Um, and more in the sense of damage... Not as much as our comrades, but that said, this is a 75 mil. So getting over a thousand in a 75 mil, which only does 115, that's certainly a decent performance. And I was going to say, this is the sort of, I would say this is the weakest part of this tank, in all fairness. Um, 76 mil, only 128 millimeters worth of pen on this gun. And in comparison to the tier sixes I have used, um, like the Cromwell, which its top gun, no going to buy it. It's Top Gun being the um, 75 micas high velocity. Still tier 6, but has much better penetration and much better damage. Yes, it's got a t it's pretty, it's got the same 2.3 second aiming time. I don't know. This is this is the bit about the American Sherman, the Easy 8, that kind of disappoints me about this thing. I mean, it's not all about the gun, as you can see. As long as you close up with someone, you should be fine. But it's just the fact that you have to close the distance in order to make this gun a lot more effective. But yeah, you know, it's not a massive, con it's not a massive annoyance. It's just the fact that after spending so much time with other tier six tanks, you'd assume the Americans would have had a decent gun, and it's like, nope, nope, they got shot on from a great height as well. Um, should we go tier eight, or should we just stick to tier six? I think we can give a go, possibly another go at. Uh, mm. I haven't used this in a while, actually. Let's let's get some. Um, I'll just get rid of that. Just use your experts. Let's just. Um, oh yes, I just realised. Mm. Mm. Do we have any kind of free things to get? Nah, I'll have to live with it. Actually, no, I can't live with it. I'll see you when I've upgraded it. And we're back. And we are in a tier nine matchup against tier nine tanks, and we're on the new we're on the newish map. Anyway, yeah. So in my premium T thirty four, what the hell are you doing, T twenty one? 
T in my premium T34 tank. That's not super bad, but I guess you have to be a decent-ish RV player or a decent scumbag in the place last week. Borsig. Right. Can I be cheeky? Get a shot here. Hello. Oh, excuse me. I am not going to be poached, bullied into doing whatever you want me to do. Hello. Good. Thank you, IS-3. What are you doing, Ice 3? Oh, he's got his self tracked. Ah, got it. Hold on, boss. Uh. Whack. Yeah, I will say the medium, cal the large caliber gun rammer is kind of a must for this thing if you want to actually operate within decent combat status. The dice is engaging. Got kind of a decent-ish shot against the E-50. I'm also being knocked by my allies. This isn't such a good thing, but I got a nice shot into the top half turret of the Carnarvon. Trying to do as much damage as possible. There is their AT-15A. I will try and be cheeky and get a shot to use the polar. I am very lucky and I get the shot in. Once again, I think I'm figuring out how to hold down um, in this thing, because I've never really been much for holding down. I've not really, I don't really know how it works. Oh, if only, if only that guy would reverse. Um, ah, what are you doing, crap hunter? You should have known. Oh, I'm such a pleb. Right, well, the moment we've lost, oh shit, we've lost too many tanks at the moment now, which is not looking really good. Hey, Carnarvon. Nice day to be shot, eh? <laughs> uh, it would appear to be that our opponents are starting to beat us quite silly, so I will now take defensive positions. Tell my tortoise friend to fall back. Artillery, fall back. Artillery. Who is that? Okay, I was lucky. <laughs> Come on. Come on, turtle, I'll cover you. Unfortunately, the Borsig platoon completely fell over our, our seven tits. Oh my Jesus Christ, that's a lot of bad guys. High damage drop for him. How the frickity foo far did that work? Oh, I'm so screwed. Let's run down the hill. I've got a great reverse speed. Yay. Jesus Christ. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, bollocks to your critical hitness. Tread him, not. I'm dead. Ricochet, but unfortunately I died. So, yeah, uh, that's annoying. Well, I guess the enemy team just stonewalled us a bit there. Uh, unfortunately, that's what happens. You see, I could have killed him, but for some reason the shell just penetrated. He must have hit him and not penetrated. Bloody type 59s. I want to have one because they're so damn useful, but they're so freaking annoying to kill. Ah, <laughs> you know, really, really annoying. But oh well. Um, so yeah, that was kind of a quickish game, wasn't it? Well, mm. well, we, no, we, we did pretty well. I, I, for a hold down vehicle, I guess I did everything I had to do. It's just annoying that um, we weren't able to successfully defeat them and properly kick their asses back home. But still, oh well. Um. Yeah, um, three battles. Yeah, three battles is enough, I would say. And despite losing, we get a nice tidy profit. Um, pros are having a premium. <laughs> uh, we do. Oh, that's embarrassing, Mr. Ram 103. Uh, yeah, we do the second amount of most damage to the enemy team, which is fair enough.
Oh, uh, well, you know, I guess it's not meant to be. But anyway, um, that one's it for this video. That's it, but uh, this, this, uh, that is about it for this video, guys. If I could speak English, that would be even better. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, yeah, the American vehicles, they're good. Don't get me wrong. At tier 8, the T-34 is absolutely fantastic. Um, just need to platoon mate probably on side to help out. The M6 tank is pretty much the T1 heavy with a bigger gun and tracks. I mean, I will do a review about them. This is not my final opinion. I'm just giving my first impressions of them. And the Sherman is, you know, is an alright tank, but in personal preference, not really what I look for in a medium tank. Um, but, you know, that said, got to fully upgrade it and actually properly go for it. So you will see a review about this tank at some point in the future. Um, and also, I have bought my, I've rebought myself a Sherman because I will be going and getting an M4 A3 E2. And hopefully, by the time I've gotten through, research most, if not all, of the Easy 8's components, I will also just upgrade it completely and try it out. Um, so yeah, um, that's about it for this American video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. If you like this kind of content, do feel free to let me know by clicking on the like button, commentating down below, and of course subscribing to the channel if you want to see some more stuff. Um, thank you very much for doing so, if you have, and if you're one of my viewers already, thank you very much for tuning in again to watch some World of Tanks with Crap Hunter. Anyway guys, this is Crap Hunter, signing out. I'll catch you next time.